Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with... It feels like I always come to you with things that are special for me, but this one is, um, really is. This one is Twix by Ictus, which I always read as It's Tuesday for some reason. Um, so I got an email from Ictus with this puzzle attached the other day, um, and it kind of blew my mind. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a set of showcase with um, Memrista, where Memrista interviewed me and talked me about my setting career. Um, career. And um, in that, I mentioned that, you know, I'd had, I've published my puzzles to Logic Masters Germany and some have been flops and everything. And this one came up, uh, or one of my puzzles came up, which was a puzzle called Bounty, in which I created a new constraint based on the uh, constraint I made called Psycho Killer. I made an easier version of Psycho Killer, um, which was in um, called Hunter Cages. And Iktu solved that puzzle, which is still not rated on Logic Masters Germany, um, and then made a puzzle around it. And he sent it off to one of my testers, without me knowing, um, and got it tested. And the feedback I got from that tester was absolutely stunning. Um, and... I, I have to do this puzzle. So not only, I think it was Grockles who said that if uh, someone grabs one of your ideas and does something fantastic with it, that is one of the best compliments you can be paid. Um, so today, as of me recording, it is one year to the day since I pa posted, uh, let me see if I can find, um, this puzzle. This is Bounty. This is the puzzle I created using Hunter Cages. Um, and I, I don't remember this puzzle at all. I don't remember how good it is. It was, I don't know how well it's rated because it's not rated. The feedback I got on it was that it was very cool and it was a lot of fun. Um, and it was a good introduction to the constraint, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but um, when someone grabs your idea and then creates something absolutely amazing with it, that is stunning and that's what's happened here apparently so i'm really looking forward to doing this um other things caging constraints there's a pack below of killer puzzles go grab it um <laughs> honestly there's some great puzzles in there including a psycho killer puzzle um which um uh, has come in. Oh, I do wish to do a congratulations to Marty, who once again is the first person to submit solution codes to every single puzzle in the pack. Um, all of them. <laughs> yeah, stunning work. Um, there's a lot of tricky puzzles in there. So that includes the um, swim to the moon. Um, and of course, all of the tricks, including the one, uh, the, the psycho killer by me. Um, and Marty said it was the first um, psycho killer that they've ever done. And of course, it includes the Fistimafel puzzle. So yeah, really amazing work there. Um, anyway, back to this. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just absolutely blown away to have this done. So this is a rambling intro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time explaining how this works. So onto the rules of Twix by Ictus. And thank you, Ictus, for doing this. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have a king's move constraint. So what that means is um, on top of that, um, if, for example, this was a particular digit, any digit that is surrounding it cannot be the same digit. So not only could these not be the same digit for being in the same box or row, these two digits could not be the same digit because they are touching it diagonally. So um, any um, digit cannot repeat in the eight cells that touch it um, because that's the... Um, the squares that a chess king could move to with a single move. Um, so that's a king's move constraint. Now we've got the um, the cages. Now the, these cages are both hunter cages and killer cages. So killer cages you're probably familiar with at this point, which means that the digits that are placed in the cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So these two digits will sum to 11, these two will sum to 13, these two will sum to 11, etc. They're also hunter cages. And the way hunter cages work, this may take a bit of explaining. It's been a while since I've looked at these. A year to be exact. Um, so... Um, yeah, I can't believe it's been a year to the day since I released it. That's just stunning coincidence. Maybe, yeah. Um, so the, the way they work is, um, the 
digits that are in the top left corner of the cage must be pointed to by the digits in the cage. So let's, for example, um, say that this is a four and a seven. Um, what that would mean is that these two digits need to point to two ones. So, and they have to point in the same position in the boxes that they reference. So because this is a four, that would mean in the same cell in box four, I need to put a one. And in the same cell in box seven, I need to put a one. Uh, and that's obviously not going to work, but that's what that would mean. Um, so um, now... If you've got a cage like this one, where it's one three, and this was say five eight, then that would mean one of these two cells would need to be a one, and one of these two cells would need to be a three. Um, and that's how that works. Um, so they're how hunter cages, um, because those are the two cells. So one of those two in box five, because it's one of those two. So if, for example, it was five and eight, um, then this would be one or three and this would be one or three because it's one and three that are pointed to. They could be in either order, but that's the way that works. Um, for hunter cages, um, it's not really relevant in this puzzle, but if you had a two cell hunter cage with only a single digit in the corner, um, that would, uh, in for example, I don't know if I've got one in this puzzle, I don't, but if you had a hunter cage that only had a single digit in the corner, but it had two cells, it would mean one of the two cages would need to point to that digit, but you don't know which. Um, that was the way I built the rule. Um, hopefully that is clear. Um, and then you've got um, just, uh, con oh, you've got consecutive dots. So these two cells must be consecutive. These two cells must be consecutive. Not all dots are given. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my clock. It's been a year to the day since I last looked at one of these. Let's give this a shot. So the most obvious thing in the puzzle to me is there is a 16 cage. That must be 7 and 9, which means that one of those must be 1 or 6. One of those must be 1 or 6, but I don't know which. So I can't even mark those as pairs. But I do know that these cells cannot be 1, 6, 7, or 9. So those are from 2, 3, 4, 5, or 8. That's terrible pencil marking. Let's not do that. But yeah, 1 and 6 in this row must be down here. There's a lot of 1s in these cages. But one of the things I do remember from hunter cages, because it's a trick that I used, is that, for example, you could point to the same one with multiple cages. Or can you? Can you in this puzzle? So what I was just saying is, for example, um, if this was a one and I had multiple cages that were pointing to, um, that could point to this cell, remember, it's all about relative position. So um, if I had to point to um, ones and this was a one and say this cell and this cell, no, well, this cell and this cell could both point to that. So, and I was to put a five here and a five here. They could both be pointing to the same cell. But in this puzzle, these are the only two cages in the top row. These are the only two cages in the top row. So the only cells that share each, so the only cells that share a position are those ones and they see each other in the same column. So they can't point to the same cell. So for example, if I was to make this a one and I wanted to point to it with both of those, they both have to be five and I've broken the rules of Sudoku. So that's not going to work. So the three ones pointed to by those two cages have to be different. So these 
in here, I need to put three different one or three different digits and point to all of the three ones in the top rows of the grid. That's correct. So this is going to point to a one in one of those positions in one in either row one, row four, or two ones, one in one row. Oh, need, sorry, this is going to point to one one either in row one, four, or seven, and this will point to the other two ones in row one, four, or seven. But hang on, it's the same here. So the two ones that are pointed to by these, because these are the only ones in the middle band, but there's only two. But these again can't share. So the two ones that are pointed to by these have to be different. And these are the only ones in the bottom and I've got another three ones that I need to point to, but these are the ones in the same relative position and they see each other. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight ones and they all need to be different. But there can only be nine ones in the grid. So, so if If I make one of the, so, okay, let's think about box one for a minute. Because the only way I can make point to box one is with a self-referential one. So one of these would have to be self-referential. Because in order to point to box one, you need to be in box one because you can't point to box one and 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 get oh. actually i can't point to box one these are all killer cages i can never put a one in one of these cages i can never point at box one so i can never so i need eight distinct ones and i can never point at box one so in these cages, because I can never put a one in any of these, one and 10, the, the smallest cage is 11 and I need to put in one and 10. So I need to put every digit from two to nine into these cages. Well, the only place I can put twos are in 11 cages with two and nine. Well, an 11 cage could never take 5, 6, because if this was 5, 6, then I would be saying I would be putting 1s down in these positions, and they would be the same. So this can never be 5, 6, and this can never be 5, 6. I have to put a 2 in one of these. One of these has to be two nine. So, 
So this is going to point at the one in either box seven or box nine. This has to point at the one in box seven because one of these is going to point at the one in box nine because this is going to have to be one of these is going to be two nine and that will point at the one in box nine. So this is going to that means that the seven the one is going to have to be over here and the six is going to have to be over here. Which means I can't put six into this 13 cage. I can't put a three in here because if I put a three in this cage, it becomes self-referential and I'm not pointing at a one. So this is either two, nine or four, seven, but this one could be two, nine, three, eight or four, seven. So there's no six in here and there's no four nine in here. I can't do four nine because the nine would become self-referential and be pointing at a nine, not at a one or a three. This is a five eight, which means uh, not as much as I might like. <laughs> Sorry about that. It means one of those <laughs> hay fever in Melbourne still. It means one of those is one or three and one of those is one or three. But this is five eight. No, no, it's not twos I need to think about, it's threes. I can't put three into any of these cages, but I need to point at a three. So where do I put the three? It has to go in the 11 cage. So one of these has to contain a three, but it can't be this one because if I put a three in here, it becomes self-referential. This is three eight. Now the only place I can put two is here and that becomes two nine, which means that the one from has to go in there and the and then... But wait a minute, one has to be pointed to by these, but I can't put a one there. So this is one, this is nine, this is two, this is one. That is absolutely forced. Now this three eight means one is in one of those two, but this one means it's there, which means that's not one. This is three, this is eight, and that eight means that is one. Now, I still need to get four, six. Now, this, right, this five, eight is now telling me that the five is in, the five is pointing to the one because this three, eight has the eight pointing at the one. So the eight here has to point at a three. So I have to put a three in one of those two and the one goes in one of those two, but that one is telling me it's not there. This is the one. And that being the one means this is the five. This becomes the eight, which means this becomes a three. So what haven't I put in yet? I haven't put in a four or a six. Well, I can't put a four in a 14 cage. So this has to be four nine, but I can't put a one in a nine cage. So there has to be a three in one of those two. And in box four, there has to be a one in one of those two. So what does this has to be? I've got no one, cause I can't do it. Two, three, four, five, I don't have a six, so this has to be six, eight. I need to put a six in a cage somewhere so I can point to the eight, six. So that means I need to put a one in one of those two, but it can't be there. So this is the one, so this is the six, this becomes an eight, 
which means this has to point to a four. Oh my God, that's gorgeous, which means that's the nine and that's the four. This nine was pointing at the three. So this becomes the three. This is not the three. This becomes the six. I've got to keep track of what I'm doing. This four makes this the one. So this is not the one. Now this six means that this is pointing at this. So this becomes the nine. This becomes the seven. This seven turns around and says that this has to be the one. I've done all the cages. Eight, three. Eight is pointing at one. Three is pointing at one. This cage is done. Four, nine. Four is pointing at one. Nine is pointing at three. This cage is done. Nine, two. Nine is pointing at one. Two is pointing at one. This cage is done. Uh, eight, six. Eight is pointing at four. Six is pointing at one. That cage is done. Seven, nine. Seven is pointing at one. Nine is pointing at six. That's a one six cage done. Eight, five. Eight is pointing at three. Five is pointing at one. I've done all the cages. But that was beautiful. So what have I got left? I've, I've done all the killer cages. I've done all the hunter cages. So it's now just... It's now just Sudoku? Okay, so that's a one because I've got four ones pointing into box one. And now I've done all of the ones. That's a three because I've got threes looking over at this. Three, eight, six. I've already got three, eight, six. Actually, four. Four has to go there. So this is a triple. Two, seven, and nine. That can't be two. That can't be nine. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So this is a triple. Two, six, eight. I can't put eight down the bottom. So this becomes the eight. This is a two, six pair. This is now a pair. Two, five. And this is a triple. One, two, three, four, seven, and nine. Okay, two can only connect to three. Seven can't connect to six, so it connects to eight, and nine can only connect to eight. So this is a three or an eight. That's restricted. Uh, nine, nine, this becomes nine, so this is not nine. Where is restricted? This two means two goes in one of those two, which puts two up here. Four puts four down there, which puts four in one of those two. Ah, that's four, because there's already a four in that column. Four and four puts four in one of those two. Four is now in one of those three. That is a bit restricted, but not a lot restricted. I can't put a nine on it or a two. So four, five, six, seven. Because I can't put a two on it because it'd have to go with a one or a three and I can't put a nine on it because it would need an eight. Oh, this is an anti-king puzzle. I'd forgotten this was anti-king. Okay, so start thinking about anti-king as well. Um, so eight can't go in any of those. So eight goes in one of those two. Uh, 
eight. Has anti king actually helped me? It will, I just haven't seen it. Two can't go in any of those or there. Has anti king helped with any of this? Four, four is in one of those two. Which means that can't be four. Because f I've got fours pointing in, but four can't go there. So four is in one of those two. And if I put four there, I can't put four in box one. That is not four. This is five, six, or seven. So where does four go in this box? Lots of places. It can't go in either of those two, but... All of those seem fine. Three is in one of those three. I am missing something horrible here. As in, I am horrible and missing something. Three. What's restricted? Five is in one of those three. Six is in one of those three. One, two, hang on, what can this be? One, two, it could be three, four, five, six, three, seven, eight, which gives me a three, seven, eight triple. So that's not a seven. This is two or nine. Three, seven, eight, triple. Seven must be in here. I mean, seven must be in here, not in the middle, because I can't, yeah. What are these, actually? What is this quad? One, two, five, six, seven. Well, I can't put two there. I can't put seven there. This is five or six. I can never put five or six there because it sees all of the fives and sixes. So this can't be one, two, can be three, can't be four, five, six, seven, so this is three or eight. There's something I am missing. What is it? So that has to go in here. So this is... So that goes in here. This cell can't go in one of those two, so it has to go in here. So this is three, five, six, eight. But that, so? That seems way too over pencil marky. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. Three, five, six, eight, but there's a three, eight looking in there. There's a three, eight, that's a five, six pair. So I can take five, six out of there. This is a three, eight pair, and that becomes a seven. So this is two, five, six. One of those has to be five or six. I'm very confused here. This 
This seven means that's not seven. I took the seven out of the corner pencil mark, but when I put that in, I left it there. Nine is in one of those two in the column. Can I do more with nines? Nine is in one of those. One of those. One of those. One of... Th nine is in one of those two. So nine is in one of those. Which means nine is in one of those. Over here, nine is in one of those. That does not seem to be it. Eight is in one of those two. Right. Eight can't be here or here. Eight is in one of those two. If that was an eight, I couldn't put eight in box. This is the three. This is the eight. That being three makes that eight, which makes that three, which makes that two, which makes that seven, which makes that nine. That two makes that nine. This is not nine. Seven now in this box has to be in one of those two. Can't be in the same column. Can't see that by King's move. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got to put a three. Ah, that's the three. I've got to put a three in this box and it can't go in any of those. So that becomes a three. So this is two, five, six, seven. It can't be two. It can't be seven. This is a five, six. And it can't be five. This is a six. So there's no six up here. So this is the six. This is the five. There's no five in here. This is four, six, seven. So what's this? One, two... Three, four, five, eight, two, five, eight. Well, this can't be two. This can't be five. So two, five, seven up here. I can get rid of the two. I can get rid of the seven. That can't be five. This six makes this two and this six. The two looks up making this seven. This is not seven. So this is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, three, four. Which means I can't put three. F nope. Uh, five comes out of those. So that's a two, six pair. So there's no six there. So these are four, five, and seven. And there's no four there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Two, five, six, and eight. Well, I can't put six there because of that. Can't put five there because of that. I am doing terribly at the end of this puzzle. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Two, five, seven, and nine. Well, I can't put nine there. I 
I keep coming back to this, thinking I've got to put an even on it somewhere. So either that is four or that is six. But any of those is fine. I mean, maybe it's not. Six has to go somewhere in here. Oh, why am I so blind? This is why I don't get subscribers. Um, I thought I was getting was getting better. What am I missing? Eight is in here. Ah, that's not three. So this is a three eight pair. So this is two, four, five, seven. But that doesn't see anything. And Right, that's three, of course. That's eight, that's three. That eight makes that five. That's not five. The three makes that four and three. That four takes four out of there. Three is done. There's no eight there. I mean, I've probably over pencil marked, but eight, yeah, eights are fine. There's no seven there because of that one. So seven is in here. I'm just trying to see where this king's move kicks in. This isn't five anymore. So that can't be four, five, or seven. Because it sees four, five, and seven there. So it can be can't be one, it can be two, can't be three, four, five, could be six, can't be seven, eight, could be nine, two, six, or nine. So none of those can be five, and that can't be five. Five has to be in here, so five comes out of those three. Two, six, seven, eight, quadruple. So one, two, three, four, that there has to be a five. Which means that's not a five. Hang on. What did I just do up here? There's a five there. Hang on, I just... I just put fives in here because... No, that is all wrong. I took the five out of there. What I should have done is put a two in there, taken two out of all of those, 
There's no five there. This is now four, six, seven, nine. This can't be four or seven because it sees four, five, seven. This is six or nine. This is a six, seven, nine triple. This becomes the four. This becomes the six. This becomes the seven. This becomes the five. This is not the five. This is a seven, nine pair. There's no five here. This is six or eight. That feels better. Because I made some five deductions with a five in the row. That was dumb. I'm... Oh, boy. How do I... Well, this can't be four anymore because four would have to go next to something that's not there. And now the only even digit on here is six. This becomes six. This becomes nine. Neither of these are nine. This makes this seven, which makes this nine. Are these still two, four, five, seven? It looks like they are. This is two, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. This can't be four or five. So this is two or seven. Ah, it, this is two. So there's no two in here. This is four, five, seven. The two makes this eight, which makes this two, which makes this six, which makes this eight. Four, five, seven. There's no five. Whoops. Four, five, seven. There's no five there. That's a four, seven pair. So that becomes the five. That becomes the seven. That becomes the four. There's no four there. This five makes this two and this five. Uh, this five, of course, I just realized I need to complete those columns. This six makes this two and this six. This seven takes seven out of both of those. This nine, no, that's a four, seven pair. That four takes four out of there. That's two, three, three digits in two cells. That nine makes that seven, that four, that nine. The four looks up making that seven, that five, and that four. And that does finish the puzzle. I really struggled at the king's move at the end, but that break-in was glorious. And I'm really sorry I struggled with that king's move at the end. I wonder if I'm going to be the only one who finds that that hard. That was stunningly good. Thank you, Iktus, for that puzzle. It is so nice for a setter to have something that they created, particularly a year ago when they thought was just completely dead. It's been on Logic Masters Germany for a year, and it's my only unrated puzzle as of time of me recording. Um, yeah, for for that to to come out of the blue and to see something this good done with the constraint. Thank you very much. I hope other people like the video and decide to, to play with it. I think it's a really cool concept. Same with Psycho Killer. I'm really happy with that one as well. Um, but I've only ever seen one of the, a couple of other people play with uh, the Psycho Killer concept. The um, Zombie Hunter did some playing around with uh, Psycho Thermos and stuff. It was very, very cool stuff. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the puzzle. Um, even though I seem to mess up the King's move at the end, I'm glad I spotted that five. Um, thanks everyone. And as always, good luck with your solving.